everyone, this is Lizzie, and today I'm going to share with you how to make this super simple Halloween card. So I'm going to start with several of the sentiments from the new Costume Party stamp set. I combined several of the sentiments onto an acrylic block, and I'm going to be stamping them onto some white cardstock, which I die cut with an outside-in stitched rectangle die with some black licorice ink in order to create a fun background. So I'm just going to stamp that and sort of vary it a little bit so it's not completely the same. And then once I finish stamping it, I'm going to use several of the small images in this stamp set to kind of fill in those white spaces. So I have the jack-o'-lantern face and then one of the tiny candy corns from the stamp set. So that finishes this super simple background, and now I'm going to work on die cutting out several of the other images that I need for the card. So I have um, the web and the spider from the Cute Cobwebs die set, which is a new release this time. And then I have the pumpkin from Fall Tiny Tags, and it creates, there's a bunch of dies in that tag set, and um, it includes a little face, so I can turn that pumpkin from a fall pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern. So I'll be die cutting that face out and then I'm going to layer it on top of the black cardstock so that you can see the face, the eyes and the mouth really pop out. So because this is a pretty simple card, I like to do as much as I can to add little details. And one of the things I like to do to die cuts is add a little bit of ink. So I had die cut the pumpkin out of some orange fake tan cardstock and then I used the same ink pad to sponge a little bit of ink around the edges to just give it a little bit of extra dimension, not make it look so 2D. And then for the black die cuts, I'm going to use some clear Wink of Stella glitter pen, and that's just going to give some subtle sparkle to these die cuts and again give it a little bit of extra interest on a relatively simple card. So you can sort of see the subtle sparkle from the black pumpkin and when you layer on the front of the tag it shines through. It's pretty difficult to tell on camera but it definitely provides some subtle shine and some fun to this simple card. So I'm going to be making a background for that pumpkin and the web and the spider to rest on. I've taken some Distress uh, watercolor cardstock and I've used one of the square inside out stitched direct or stitch square dies and I'm going to be just doing some really simple watercoloring just to give it a little bit of interest in the background. Um, I use some distress markers. I use the colors of ice spruce, hickory smoke, and then some peeled paint. So I went ahead and applied one layer of color with the hickory smoke and the spice ice spruce and then a second layer with the ice spruce and the peeled paint. So it's pretty subtle but I think it gives a nice sort of uh, helps the pumpkin stand out from the background. So I did feel like that panel did get a little bit lost on the background, so I took the dimensions of that stitched rectangle die, and it's three and a half, so I just cut a three and a half inch square out of some black cardstock, and I will layer that behind the watercolor panel. So I'm going to start working on my sentiment now, and I'm using the Bannertastic die, stamp and die set, and I just stamped that with some black licorice ink, and then I'm going to use some fake tan ink and stamp out my sentiment Happy Halloween, which is from the Costume Party stamp set. I'll be using the coordinating die to die cut that out. I can go ahead and start assembling the card. I'm just going to use some adhesive to adhere the back panel onto the card base, which is cut from some craft cardstock, and as well as the watercolor panel onto that black cardstock. And I have some liquid glue pen which I'm applying to the cobweb into the corner as well as to the spider. And then I'll be using some liquid glue to apply the orange pumpkin to the black pumpkin. And then I'm going to use uh, some foam tape to adhere that in just a second but I thought I should go ahead and adhere the square onto the card panel first with just some tape runner. 
I'm just using a couple foam squares and applying that to the back of the pumpkin. And then I will also use some foam squares to apply the banner sentiment onto the card. So now I'm going to apply just some finishing touches to the card. I have a bow that's tied from some lawn trimmings that I adhered with a glue dot, and I'll just cut off the extra ends of that bow. And then I'm gonna use this Nouveau Drop product, and the color is dandelion yellow, and just apply a couple dots to the card panel just to bring out some of that yellow which was in the lawn trimmings. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make this super simple Halloween card. I will see you in the next video. Bye.